At one point she's like, okay, now I'm going to hold open your cervix. A lot going on today so I figured I'd bring you guys along um, first thing is well first thing is I took her out for a run this morning and then Bailey is her um, and then now she is working on her Kongs I just pulled them out of the freezer because I have to leave her alone for two hours while I go volunteer um, I volunteer um, once a week for a couple hours. Um, and it's like a front desk position at a suicide prevention nonprofit. Um, the only problem is that the front desk is also like the like coffee and food preparation area. Um, and so food safety, Bailey can't be there. Um, and I really just love the mission of this nonprofit, so I'm still volunteering with them even though I can't bring her and it's only two hours a week. Um, so she is plopping down with her Kongs while I'm gone. Um, those will keep her busy for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Pretty list? Oh, are you happy? Okay, let's see if you even notice when I leave. Bye, honey. Bye. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> so we just finished up our advising appointment and now I'm rushing back to my car so that I don't have to pay for another hour of parking because if you go more than 30 minutes, you have to pay for like a whole new, another hour. I just got back from my medical procedure. Um, it, you know, I thought it was going to be very uneventful and something like I, you know, would just briefly mention. Um, but boy, was this an experience! I, Bailey's in my lap, by the way. So if I look down and like look like I'm <laughs> petting something, it's because I'm petting Bailey. Um, little paw. Because I already had an IUD and this was just a replacement, I kind of went into this appointment thinking that. It would be very routine. It would be very much, you know, not not a big deal. Um, the first time I got an IUD, um, I didn't take the ibuprofen they said to take beforehand. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't have any anesthesia. I, you know, they put it in and I said, ouch, and then it was done. <laughs> and it was very easy. And this time, it, I, whoa. I guess my body just reacted very poorly this time. And I don't think it's, it's not the IUD's fault. It's not the nurse's or the doctor's fault. Um, it's just how my body reacted in the moment, um, which kind of sucks. First of all, they have you show up for your appointment 30 minutes early um, so that you can do like a pregnancy test. So, you know, they can make sure you're not pregnant before you get it. Then you also have to like go down to the pharmacy and fill out paperwork and get your IUD and then go upstairs and whatever, whatever. Um, and this is all in the same building, thank goodness, because um, it's a student health center. So I go and um, do all that stuff beforehand, and then I show up in the clinic 10 minutes before my appointment. So I wait 10 minutes, they call me back, they leave me in a room for 10 minutes. I don't know why they couldn't have just left me in the waiting room if it was going to take that long. Um, and then they move which room I was in to, uh, and now, so I was in a different room for another 15 minutes. And then someone comes in and is like, okay, like, you know, you can prepare for the procedure. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I don't, what, why did you make me wait so long? Especially because um, on the, in the waiting room, it says like, if you're more than 10 minutes late for your appointment, it will be canceled and you will have to pay a fee and reschedule, um, which is just kind of like, whatever. There are reasons why they have to delay things. Um, I get that. It just isn't convenient. Um, 
and I'm probably one of the reasons why they do have to delay things. We got in, I was talking to the doctor and the nurse, and I was like, okay, like, you know, I sometimes pass out. Like, this is what you can expect. Last time I didn't pass out. This is how it went last time. But, you know, I was preparing them. I was like, sometimes this happens. Um, yeah, I put Bailey in a down um, right behind the kind of bed thing that they had me in. Um, so she was in a down behind there and she was very good for the whole procedure. She stood up once to like check on me and the rest of the time she was just like, okay, I'm gonna let the professionals do their thing. And I requested that they be very specific about what every step they were doing. Um, and they were very good and very kind and the bedside manner was wonderful. The doctor is like, hmm, I don't see the strings of your old one. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? Cause they were there the last time I checked. And um, she was like, don't worry, like, I'll just look, I'll clean the area. And then she's like, oh, I see them. They're just really, really short. You know, I'm just gonna grab it, whatever. That went fine. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna let them know. Like, I'm feeling a little dizzy. So I let them know and they were like, okay, just let us know if it gets any worse. Um, they were very good. They were explaining what was going on. And then um, at one point she's like, okay, now I'm going to hold open your cervix. And I was like, whatever. And not that it was more painful than the rest of it. Like I have a very high pain tolerance. So the whole thing wasn't like painful. Um, I mean, it hurt, but like not a lot. Um, but then when she did that, I was like, oh, I really, really, really feel dizzy. Like I'm, I feel like I might pass out. Um, and I check on Bailey and Bailey's like, that's when Bailey stood up and looked at me and I was like, nope, back down. You know, I was competent and like able to do that. I think my, my perception of time was very like weird because I was in this, like, I'm almost going to pass out stage for so long. Um, honestly, it's a miracle that I didn't pass out. Like I was so close for so long or what felt like so long. All of a sudden there's a woman a nurse holding my hand and like talking to me and distracting me and she was very helpful um like asking me about my dog asking me whatever um you know being just their bedside manner was wonderful and i'm like uh <laughs> at one point after like i'm having a hard time keeping the conversation and i i know my face looks like i'm you know really uncomfortable and i feel like the warmth like right before you pass out like all over me at this point and it won't go away and I won't pass, I, like I'm not passing out, but I'm not getting better. And it was just awful limbo. And then um, they put like cold towels on my forehead and on my neck and like she kept talking to me and holding my hand and being like, you can squeeze if it hurts. And I was like, it doesn't hurt. I just feel like I'm gonna pass out. After what felt like forever, and it probably wasn't forever, um, the doctor goes, okay, I'm about to put it in. And I, in my head, I'm like, you weren't putting it in that whole time, like why? And who knows, like maybe my perception of time was off. Maybe you really like, like my blood pressure was making something weird go on down there. But um, then she goes, I'm about to put it in. And I was like, okay. And then she put it in, which was like a twinge of pain, like not super painful. Some people it's very painful for. Um, for me, it wasn't. And I was like, oh my God, I might pass out. And then I, I didn't, they kept me there. She did pretty damn good considering that I was about to pass out for a very long time. And you know, normally she would be tasking during that time. Um, but instead she had to, you know, let other people work on me. So, you know, they were really nice. They were like, here's a ginger ale, here's a cookie. How do you feel now? Like, oh, you're not so pale anymore. And they, they were like, oh my God, you got, more pale than we ever like have seen anyone. The nurse that was uh, originally assisting the doctor told me she was like, yeah, I was so scared. And I was like, I feel like you would have been more scared if I hadn't warned you that I sometimes pass out. And she was like, oh my God, I don't even like, that would have been very scary. Um, and so I think, I think she was new or like she hadn't had a whole lot of um, experience with patients like me <laughs> before. They were like, okay, like, we feeling okay enough for us to leave and like finish up some paperwork and print out your stuff. And then I was like, yeah, sure. And they were, they came back every couple of minutes to make sure I was okay. Um, they were very friendly and kind. They sucked, but I like not having to take birth control every day or, 
you know, have an injection in my arm or whatever. This is just the easiest for me. Um, it's definitely not for everybody, but this is an adventure. I'm tired, guys. I'm gonna go take a nap. <sighs> okay, okay. So I just got back from class a little bit ago and I'm super exhausted. Um, I never even got to take my nap earlier. I'm, I'm just so tired. But at the same time, I have this really weird adrenaline rush going on because I thought I did not do that great on an exam um, a couple weeks ago. No, it was last week. Oh God, it was last week. Um, I thought I didn't do that great on the exam. And then when we got our scores back today, I like crushed it with the curve. I did good without the curve. I crushed it with the curve. Um, I, I saw the score and like my jaw dropped. Like I was like, oh my God, this is so good. I called my mom immediately afterwards, like one of those scores. Um, so I am exhausted. Um, but I feel like, have you ever seen the meme of the skeleton that's had coffee that's just like wired? Um, that's how I feel because I'm exhausted, but I'm also just like energized. Um, so I'm going to get ready for bed and hope that like triggers, like my routine triggers my body to be like, cut down the adrenaline, let the crash happen because I'm ready for the crash. Um, Considering how busy today was, I might be paying for it tomorrow, but we'll see. Sometimes, you know, you got to pay for big days. But thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, I'm really just so happy that I get to, like, share my experience with my service dog and in grad school with you guys. Um, it's just wonderful. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, subscribe for more, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Come here. Do you want to say goodbye? Do you want to say goodbye? Oh, no. You just want your butt rubbed? She knows what she wants, guys. All the butt rubs.